Okay, so today we're working on 3.2.12, install SATA devices. You work part-time at a computer repair store. You are building a new computer. A customer has purchased two serial ATA SATA hard drives for his computer. In this lab, your task is to install both hard drives on the computer. Right, so let's start with that task. So let's get closer. Turn this to the back. Turn it off. And then it says, read the motherboard documentation to identify the location of the internal SATA connectors. So let's go to the motherboard and identify where those cables should go. So when you click on the motherboard, once it's highlighted in yellow, then click on the eye. And here you've got instructions. Let's make this bigger. Scroll down to point A where it says serial ATA connectors. You can see it is, you've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's find those on the motherboard. It's over here at the, on this side. Okay, next it says install the hard drives. So let's do that. Let's go to the storage and install the first one. And then the second. Then let's go to the cables. Say to seven pen, connect the first one over here. Then click on the second cable and connect the second here. Okay, then it says plug in the correct power connectors from the power supply. Okay, now it says connect them to the motherboard. All right, so let's go back to the motherboard and connect those ones to the motherboard. So go on workstation, system case, then go to find the hard drive. There you go, that's the first one. Click on the cable. So you can see one end is connected because that's the one that we did, and the second one is not. So let's add it to port one. There you go. Then click on the second hard drive and the cable and the same thing. One is connected from the back, the other one is not. So let's add this one to port two. Okay, perfect. Then it says plug into the correct power connector. All right, so let's go back to the hard drive and let's connect it to the power. So again, a workspace, click system and then click power supply. Then look for SATA 15 pen. All right, there you go. That's the first one. Then we need the second one. Okay, so now it's perfect. Then it says boot the PC. So let's turn it to the back. Let's put it on. Then the front. So what it wants you is to boot to the BIOS and then check if the both hard drives are connected. So let's do that. Okay, so you either click F1 or you either click F12 delete. All right, so both are connected, as you can see over here. It's all perfect. So let's go to score. You've got 100.